Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you're having an amazing day. Before I get into the video, I just want to thank you guys all so much for the love and support you've been showing me on my videos. Hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining my little family on YouTube and I hope you'll enjoy it here. Thank you for all of the sweet comments that you guys have been leaving me. I love reading them and replying to you guys. You guys are all so sweet. I could not be more thankful to have such a great audience. And I also appreciate all the instructive feedback that you guys have been giving me because I'm really gonna try to use it and improve faster. So never feel bad if you see me doing something wrong or you think I could do it better please tell me because I want to do it better. I won't be offended, I promise. So today I'm going to be doing a full set of short nails because I know some of you guys that watch my videos like nails but don't necessarily like them long, as long as I've been doing them. I know a lot of people for their job or other commitments or just because it's hard to do things in general with long nails sometimes if you're not used to it, prefer short nails and I haven't done any short nails yet. I've been doing mostly longer medium nails. So today I'm going to be trying to do a cute, unique set of short nails for you guys. So maybe you can try it at home if you'd like and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, enough talking. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, you guys, so here we are. I just took off my last set of nails a few hours ago. So my nails are looking kind of rough but I'm actually not going to do a lot of prep this time because I'm actually planning on filming another video in like two or three days and I'm planning on it being a nail video. So these are going to have to come off in like two or three days. So I'm just going to be doing very light prep. So I'm just gonna start by gently buffing each of my nails to roughen up the surface so that the gel sticks better. Just very lightly with a buffer block. You don't want to be going in rough with a file. And then I'm just going to go in with my cuticle pusher and push my cuticles back. So now I'm just going to take this file and gently file my nails so that they're a little more even because right now you can tell they're really jagged and not cute. Okay, now that I'm done with all the buffing and filing that I'm gonna do for with the prep, I'm gonna go wash my hands and scrub them to get rid of any little dust or debris, and I'll be right back. All right, so my hands are all washed. By the way, sometimes I get asked where I got my rings. If you like these two specifically, I made these, and I actually have a tutorial up on how to make them. Just thought I'd mention that. Alrighty, so I want to do short nails, but I feel like my nails are too uneven and actually a little too short for my taste. This one's actually still a little bit long. I should go in and file it more. But so what I'm going to do instead of putting the gel just this short is I'm going to use dual forms and poly gel to just slightly extend them a little bit. So these are the dual forms I'm going to be using. They're from Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I'll link everything I use down below in the description box. And they are stiletto shaped. But since I'm only going to be extending it a tiny bit, like just to the second line, I think they'll work perfectly for like a nice round or almond shape. And I actually have some that I used before and cleaned off in this little baggie, so they're already pre-sized. So I'm going to put the poly gel on one hand at a time. So I'm going to prep this hand with a primer and a base coat and then put the gel, poly gel on. And then I'm going to put the base coat on this hand and then put the poly gel on. That way that while I'm working on this hand, this one doesn't get any dust or lint stuck to it while I'm working on this one because the primer and base coat are very sticky. This is the dehydrator and primer I'm using also from Amazon. Also, I have my window closed because it's pretty noisy outside, but it's getting so hot in here, so I went to go open it to see if it was not noisy. And of course, the sprinklers are on, so 
I didn't open it. So now that this primer is dry, I'm gonna go in with this peel off base coat. And one of you in the comments of one of my other videos suggested that I do two layers of this base coat and also to use cuticle oil to remove it. And I'm totally going to try to do that this time because it has been a little hard to remove them, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna go in with two layers of this peel off base coat. And I'm not going to be too careful about not getting the sides because I do want these to come off in a couple days. So I'm just gonna flash cure that so it doesn't flood my cuticle. Because usually when I put the peel off base coat, I would try to concentrate it in the middle of the nail and then leave the edges free so that the gel could stick to the nail better and not lift. But since these are coming off soon, I will just put it on the whole nail. Okay, so now I'm gonna cure this for a full minute. Ow, it's burning a lot. And I think it's because my nails are really thin right now, unfortunately. I just got a canvas notification that the grade for my midterm was released and I'm nervous. I'm so scared. Either I'm gonna check it and it will make me be in a good mood for the rest of this video or I'm gonna check it and I'll be totally bummed. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> okay, 72 out of 80, that's not bad. What is that? Okay, you guys, I got a solid A-. a minus. I'm cool with that. <laughs> anyway, so the first layer is fully cured. So now I'm going to do the second layer and cure for a minute. It's stinging, so I'm trying this thing where I go in and out and it's helping. All right, so now the base coat is on, two coats, and we are going to start with the poly gel. So for when you do poly gel, you need what is called a slip solution or some type of liquid that helps you move the poly gel because the poly gel is really sticky. And instead of a slip solution, I'm just going to be using isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution because honestly, it works the same and it's a lot cheaper. And I'm gonna be using this poly gel brush and I'm gonna be using this little palette for now just to rest my brush on when I'm not using it so it doesn't get any lint on it. So the color I'm going to be using for poly gel is this Rosalind soft pink. It's just like a really natural base color. And I'm just gonna squeeze it straight onto the dual form. Like that. And now with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on my brush, I'm just going to work it up and up the sides. Just slowly pushing it up. And you wanna make sure to get all the edges. And I can go in later and file it more to fix the shape. Okay, I think that's pretty even. So now I'm just going to press it like right above the cuticle and press it down like that. It spilled out a little bit on the edges, but that's okay. I can file that off later. And I'm gonna cure it for one minute. Alrighty, so it is all cured. So now I'm just going to pop the dual form off just like that and boom it's a short nail but it's not as terribly short as it was before and i'm going to go in and fix the shape with my file later so now i'm just going to go ahead and extend all the rest of my nails on this hand okay and here's the last one on this hand I think I definitely pressed down too hard on this one or something because I can literally see my nail underneath it. And there definitely is a lot of filing to be done, but for the most part, not too shabby. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly what I did for this hand on my right hand, but I'll skip that for you guys because you don't need to see me do everything twice. Alrighty, so all of the poly gel is applied and I actually went over a few of them and put another coat on top because some of them were pretty thin. I don't know, I think I like pressed too hard or something and I know one time I did them really thin and some of them just cracked off so I want to make sure they were thick enough. So now I have a lot of filing to do but before I do that I'm going to wipe them all off with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of the sticky layer. 
And I'm really excited because I actually just got a new dust collector from Amazon. Well, I never had one before, but I got one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and file these and I will be right back. All right, so it's actually the next morning because it was getting kind of late and the filing was taking forever. I had to do so much filing and I had way too much caffeine yesterday. So I was just crashing from all the caffeine I had. And I was like, you know what? I don't wanna rush through this. I just wanna do the best job that I can do. So I'm just gonna finish in the morning. So I filed them all and my cuticles are very angry at me. I was not anticipating so much filing. They're not even close to perfect right now. See, now that I'm looking at them, I'm seeing even more things that are like wrong with them. But at this point I'm like, it's okay. They don't have to be perfect so now i'm just gonna move on to the design and i want to do i have a design in mind and i know it's not even close to halloween but i love spooky things so i think i'm gonna make this set kind of creepy and the idea that i have is i want to try to do a little bit of 3d sculpting with poly gel and I want to try to create an eyeball on a few of my fingers. So I've never done this before, but I have a kind of idea of how I want to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the eyeball on with gel first using a dotting tool, just a simple eye. And then I'm gonna try to build up around the eye, like the eyelid part. I'm gonna build that up around with poly gel and then after that's cured, I'm gonna go in with hard gel in the middle and kind of fill it in to make it look like an eyeball. So we'll see how that works. That's the idea, but let, let's see how it goes. So I think it would be cool if one eye is blue. So I think I'm gonna use this Beatles gel for the first one. I also wanna do a green eye, but this color is like the closest, this is like a turquoise so i'm thinking i might try to mix that turquoise color with this green color because this one's like super muddy green and i don't want to use this one but i think i might try to mix these together to make a green color and then of course white and black all right so i'm just gonna get out my palette and start by putting the white on it this bottle is really messy okay so before i do that i buffed all of them out but i think i'm actually gonna go over with a base coat just to smooth out the surface more actually i'm gonna go ahead and go in with a matte top coat that way it'll be easier to do any drawing and it'll smooth out the surface at the same time i'm just going to fill this little cup with some acetone to clean up the cuticles I tend to rush through my nail design sometimes because after applying the tips or the poly gel, which usually takes me a long time because I'm still learning, I get impatient and I'm kind of tired of sitting at my desk or I have other things that I need to do and so I just will rush through the design. But with this set, I'm really trying to practice taking my time and just taking a break if I need to so I can make them the best that I can. So I'm trying to be aware of how loud I'm talking because whenever I'm doing these videos where I'm talking through my process, I'm just using the mic on my camera so I'm not using my microphone to do voiceover. And I notice sometimes while I'm talking, while I'm working, I tend to kind of mumble or get really quiet and you guys can't really hear me. I'm trying to be more aware of that and talk at like, like the same volume. It's funny, I never notice all of the sounds that are coming from outside or in my house until I'm trying to film and then everything just sounds so noisy. So here they are with the matte top coat and now I'm gonna go in and attempt to do the first eyeball. And I think I'm gonna do it on this middle finger. I wish I had a bigger dotting tool. I don't know where my dotting tools are, but this is like the biggest one that I have. And 
not too shabby, but I think I might want to move it down just a little bit. So I'm going to try again. So I'm just going to wipe it off with some alcohol. The trick is, I think, when you're trying to do bigger dots to get more gel on your dotting tool. Okay, I think that's good. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. Don't fix what's not broken. I'm gonna cure this. And now I'm gonna go in with the blue. Just gonna get a little bit less gel on my dotting tool than I had last time. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm just gonna cure that. So there we go. And now we're gonna go in with the smaller side of the dotting tool and do the pupil. Boom. I don't know if it should be smaller or if that's good. I'm just gonna try doing it one more time. Okay, I think I'm more happy with that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna cure it. Okay, so now that we have the eyeball on it, I am going to use the same poly gel that I used to do my nails to build up like the eyelids around it. Since this kind of is like a fleshy color, I think it'll look really cool. I think the way I'm gonna do this is just to squeeze some out on my palette first. It's colder than it was in my room last night. It was really warm last night, so now it's a little harder to squeeze out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put like that much. I don't know which tool I should use to put this on. It's kind of tricky. I think I'm gonna just use my dotting tool. I feel like it'll make it easier to like actually move, like pick up. Zoom you guys in more. There we go. Okay, so there we go. I think that looks super creepy and cool. I don't care that it's not like super smooth because I think like eyeballs, like eyelids aren't super smooth anyway. I'm just gonna go in and touch this up a little bit. And I'm also just adding some like texture to the rest of the nail too because I want it to kind of look like wrinkly skin or something. I think that looks pretty epic, not gonna lie. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, so there it is. And I think I'm actually gonna go in with a tiny bit of red. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this like jelly red color. Reminds me of like blood. And with the small side of my dotting tool, I'm just gonna put a little bit of red in the corners. I'm gonna go in with this small brush. I definitely think that just adds a whole nother dimension to it. That's super cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And now I think I'm happy with how the eyeball is looking. So I'm gonna try to go in with the hard gel now. So I'm just gonna use this clear IBD hard gel and I'm gonna use it to try to dome the top of the eye to make it look more like an eyeball and not so flat. So I'm gonna use my dotting tool again. And I'm gonna let it level out. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna cure that really fast. See, so now it looks like an eyeball instead of just super flat. Ooh, that looks so creepy. I think I do kind of want to add a little bit more dimension to the skin though. It's looking just like pretty flat. Just like lightly shading in some of the creases.
Okay, you guys, so here's how it turned out. That's super creepy. Honestly, I really like it. It looks so like fleshy. This was supposed to be just like a cute short set of nails for you guys who don't like long nails, but I just can't do things not super extra. I guess even if I have short nails, I just have to make them extra and weird in a different way. I know this; these nails are going to end up being super thick. It's all right, I'm just focusing on like the design for now, so that's okay. Anyway, I think I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it because I don't want anything to happen to it. And the top coat that I'm gonna be using is this gelish one. I definitely got rid of some of the texture that I had. That's all right, oh well. Looking super glossy though now. Okay, I'm just gonna start by doing eyes on like, I'm gonna do an eye on the thumb. So if I want to do different things with these ones, I still can. Actually, I think I might try to do two eyes on the thumb, like one here and one here. And I definitely want them to be different colors. So I'm going to try to mix the green that I was talking about. So a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And let's see what happens with that. Yeah, I think that's perfect for an, a green eye color. And I'm gonna flash cure that so nothing happens to it. There we go, flash cure that. I think I'm gonna make one of them green, but I'm gonna make the other one a different color. In my palette, it's pink, it's not white, which actually, here is a little tip. When you put colors on white surfaces sometimes, they appear different than how they would appear if you put them on your nails because colors appear different on different surfaces. So like if I put this blue color on a white surface, it might appear a little darker than it actually is. Okay, and I think I'm gonna make the other eye. Would it be weird if I made it red? I think that would be really creepy. You know, I'm gonna try real quick. I think that would actually be cool. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now time for the pupils. Just have to go really slow. Okay, so now I'm gonna build up the flesh like I did for this one. And the reason I'm flash curing is because I don't want the poly gel to kind of like settle and flatten out because I want to keep those hills. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in and create the rest of the texture. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go in and add the red like I did before. All right, so here's how this one turned out. This one looks like super fleshy. Oh, I almost forgot to put the hard gel. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the hard gel right now. Okay, I want to stay with like the fleshy texture for all of them, but I think for these two, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and I'm gonna put one of these red hearts in the middle and then I'm gonna put the fleshy texture around them just like the eyeballs basically, but these ones will just have hearts. So I'm just going to use the hard gel to put the hearts on. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the poly gel and create the flesh. And I'm just curing it every so often for just five seconds, just so I don't lose the texture by it leveling out. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the red. It always pops so much better when I put the red. Okay, so there it is and now I'm just gonna go over it with a really thin layer of top coat and there it is I think it's cool. I don't know. I think maybe the heart blends in a little bit But it definitely looks creepy and fleshy and goes with what I'm going for so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to this other one. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I think I'm gonna do one more eye on my pinky and then we'll be done with this hand. And I actually think that for my other hand, I might do a totally different design, something more actually cute sparkly something like I said was going to be cute so that you guys can see like a creepy one and a cute one and honestly my camera might die soon so hopefully it doesn't but I'm just gonna get on and do this pinky I said I was gonna create cute short nails that you guys could recreate. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? <laughs> These are not necessarily cute, but you know, I really like them. They're my style, so it's okay. I just have to be extra, I can't help it. I don't know how much longer my camera is going to last, but I'm just gonna do this hand real quick. And I was kind of planning on doing them the same, but I decided I want to do this one a little bit cuter. So this is just going to be like a bonus, and I'm going to do this real quick. And I think I'm going to use these really cute stickers that I got from AliExpress. They're little pandas and stars. And I'm also going to be using this gel polish, which is like a holographic glittery one, reflective. And also I might use this one, which is like more of like a jelly yellow to match the stickers. So I'm just gonna go in and put a base coat on all these nails real quick. And I'm just going to use this Beatles base coat. Okay, so now I have my base coat on and I'm just gonna go in and put this glittery one on every other nail. Now I'm just gonna see what this yellow looks like. I might not use it if it isn't what I'm expecting it to look like. Okay, I do think that I actually like that. So I'm just gonna cure that. And I think I might go over with another glittery reflective gel that's clear over this one.
Okay, I think I'm gonna go over the yellow with this one. It's kind of transparent. It's a little gray, so if I don't like it, I will wipe it off, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Mmm, no, definitely not. I think I'm just gonna go with one more layer of yellow on these two. Okay, so now that all the gel is on, I'm going to put the stickers. Okay, these are so adorable. Holy moly. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this big one on Sleeping on the Moon right here. And I'm gonna be using my new tweezers. Yeah, that makes it so much easier to grab them. I also wanna put one of these little panda words down here. That's why I put it pretty high up. Cute. On this yellow one, I think I'm gonna put this little shooting star panda. And I'm also gonna put little stars. And also one down here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this little panda in the ice cream cone. And it's a pretty big sticker, so I don't think we're gonna be able to fit anything else. And on this one, I think I'm gonna put this little guy. By the way, these tweezers make it so much easier. I used to just use like eyebrow tweezers when I didn't have these specific ones, but it would kind of ruin the stickers. And I think there's room to put a little star. And for the last one, it's gonna need to be pretty small. I think I'm just gonna put this little star with panda face in it, that's super cute. Not the easiest thing in the world to do this with your non-dominant hand. Boom. Okay, so now I'm going to top coat all of those. Okay, so there they all are, top coated. And I don't know how much longer my camera battery is gonna last. I'm kind of racing against it, but I definitely wanna put rhinestones. I definitely wanna put purple and yellow rhinestones on the cuticles. So I'm definitely gonna do that right now. And if my camera cuts out, I will definitely just show you the finished product in the sun after I put them on, so. So here they are. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I'm really proud of the work I did and it was really fun to do. I know that they're not perfect. There's definitely a lot of things that could be improved. They were really thick, but that's just gonna come with practice. I'm still a beginner, so I'm not gonna be too hard on myself about that. And here are the cute ones that I did. I went ahead and added the rhinestones to the cuticles and I really love how they look. They're so cute and sparkly. AliExpress really does have the cutest nail stickers I've ever seen, so if you haven't checked them out and you like doing your nails, I would definitely recommend going on AliExpress and looking up just like cute nail stickers and you'll just find so many. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope that it inspired you to do your nails even if you don't necessarily like long nails or it's hard for you to do things with long nails. You can make short nails look super cute and cool too. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you wanna see me in the future, you can even subscribe and become part of my little YouTube family if you'd like. I love you guys so, so, so much. Go be amazing because you are amazing. Have an amazing life. I love you. Mwah.